choose to die. I've got a really cool idea. Today's video is sponsored by Anchor Make. Make more with less effort. I'll be the judge of that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be finally dipping my toes into the world of FDM 3D printing. Ooh, magnetic. That's very cool. Nice. Let's see how beginner friendly this really is. So, as you can probably tell, I have been sent an FDM 3D printer, specifically the M5C by AnchorMech. And with the tagline of make more with less effort, this couldn't be more perfect timing for me, quite frankly. Because my real life job has been kicking my butt this year and finding the time for my hobby and making videos has been very difficult indeed. I'm excited to give this a try though because I have had several projects floating around in my imagination that require some big 3D prints, but first I had to get this thing up and running. Hey! Please press the button once on the printer you want to connect to. Uh... Okay, that was way easier than I was expecting. I think I had to screw in about eight screws and plugged in a couple of wires. Once assembled, I simply downloaded the phone app to connect, name the printer and level the build plate. Of course, I wanted to give the printer a maiden voyage with a test print, but I really didn't want to print off that little boat that everyone seems to print off when testing printers. Straight off the bat, I wanted to start putting this machine to the test. So I downloaded a fully articulated Gollum model, mostly because with the resin printers I am used to printing on, articulated models just aren't an option, and Gollum, of course. Shut up! I didn't say anything. I wasn't talking to you. There we go, a totally articulated little Gollum model, which is seriously cool. I got this printer out of the box and set it up and I've managed to print this off all within about two or three hours from start to finish. So yeah, very beginner friendly because I've never done FDM printing before. Now that I've got this far, it's time to make something really cool that I've been wanting to make for a very long time. I have been wanting to print off this Smaug's head from Cult3D for such a long time and I'm so glad that I finally have the 3D printer to do it. So this STL file of Smaug's head is totally awesome, I absolutely love it. It's just a little bit too long and it's going to protrude a bit too much from my project. So I'm going to use Mesh Mixer to cut the model in half and then I can build it up from probably about here upwards. I don't need all of that neck and all of those spikes at the back. So. Mesh Mixer. So if you have an STL file that you want to edit before printing, then Mesh Mixer is the program for you. To cut a model, you simply navigate to the Edit tab and scroll to the Play and Cut function. You then simply grab and drag the arrows on your desired axis to the point of the model where you wish to cut. Decide if you want to keep or trash the excess model and press Accept. And there you have it, you have a perfectly cut STL file ready to export and print. And we need to export it as an STL file. Smog cut. Complex object in scene. One or more objects being exported is complex, non manifold. The resulting mesh file may have errors. Do you wish to continue? Yes, let's see what happens. So, the way I've cut this in Mesh Mixer also means that I can probably make it a little bit bigger on the build plate. With all those spikes at the back, it's going to be spread out a bit too wide. Yeah, boy! Perfect, now we're going to drop it into the Anchor Make software and slice it up and get printing. 24 hours later. Right, let's increase the size of this model by 300, no, not 3,500%, 350%, that's better. Okay, I'm trying to make this model as big as possible on the seven inch build plate while still leaving a little room for supports on the model as there's quite a few overhangs on the model at awkward angles. So this just isn't a straightforward print. Supports are definitely required. And this software in Anchor Mech honestly makes that process super simple and easy. But this is a lot of plastic to print. By my calculations, that means that the print is gonna take almost two days. 
and this is on our kitchen table right now so guaranteed my wife isn't going to be very happy and I may become acquainted with the sofa Fine. so this better be worth the anchor make please give me a good print Straight away this machine started printing like a beast and everything was looking super smooth. The only problem I could see arising is mechanical failure because there's so many moving parts. The thing about moving parts is that I also have a cat and I spent most of the first evening worrying that Biscuit was going to attack the printer. Night Biscuit, you're going to keep an eye on that for me? Just don't touch. Get down. Okay, things didn't go quite according to plan with that print last night. As you can see, I no longer have a 3D printer on my kitchen table and I have a partial print here, which has kind of gone wrong. Now, the reason for that is this table is basically the most unstable table that has ever existed on the face of the earth. When my printer really got going last night and got to about this stage, it was just rocking backwards and forwards and just going jigga 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 The sound of it was really really bad and the print was starting to go off a little bit. So obviously this printer needs a more stable surface. So I've started the print again over there. So over here on a solid counter this print seems to be going so much more smoothly. From the beginning with this print I could just hear that everything was a bit off kilter and it just didn't seem right. I also tightened up the belt inside the y-axis of this printer and that has smoothed everything out as well. And also just to make sure that this print went well, I kind of slowed the print speed down and I've also put it on precision mode. So it's going a bit slower than what it was over on the kitchen table. Also I haven't mentioned anything about this button that's on the printer and this is one of the selling features. So it's a play pause button. And I'm really tempted to push it, but everything's going so smoothly with this print, I'm not going to go anywhere near it. Although I am kind of tempted. Good morning guys, uh, gladly I can report I didn't have to sleep on the sofa after all which is really really cool and yeah I can also gladly report that the print is going quite well. So yeah about 20 hours into the print and things are looking very smooth indeed. Touch wood, everything goes according to plan. Time to thank my amazing Patreon members who continue to support my channel through the tough times. If your name is rolling across the screen right now, you are an absolute legend. I love you guys. Also, if you're interested in printing either of the files in this video, then you can find links to them both in the description below. Lastly, why not be epic and subscribe to the channel? What are we waiting for? Okay, it's just gone after midnight on Friday night and yeah, just had some pizza and the print is coming on really nicely and I have to say I'm getting pretty excited because tomorrow morning there should be a dragon sitting there if everything goes to plan the next day morning guys it's Saturday morning and this print's almost done let's take a quick look So there's a famous quote by Robert Burns that could apply here, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. No, they didn't like me. <laughs> sitting on the toilet. <laughs> I was planning to go like this and it'd be all like, oh yay, it's finished. But I was on the lead.
Oh well. Okay, we can turn off the printer. That's been running for two days. And see if we can pop this thing off the build plate. Let's go. We have a dragon's head. Finally, I get to take these supports off and see just how good a print we've got under here. Yes! Finally, I have this STL file printed off, Smaug's head. I didn't want to print this off small or in resin. I wanted to have a big, big head for this project that I've got in my mind. So if you're interested in seeing what I do with this and how I control it, then you're gonna to have to check out the next video. Well done to Anchor Make. This is definitely a user-friendly and beginner-friendly printer, because I've never done FDM printing before, and boom, if I can do it, you can do it. Monkey see, monkey do, right? So, thanks for watching, guys, and yeah, please subscribe, and hopefully see you in the next video.